So now that we have our project, so now that we have our project folder, let's create our file, our first file. So to create a file, I'm gonna here click on this icon to create a new file. And this file, by the way, is gonna be our main uh, access point. So I'm gonna name it index.py. Usually in web applications, the main access point is named and is called index. It could be index.html, it could be in the, uh, index.py, or any other uh, extension. But here, since we are uh, using uh, Python, therefore the extension is py. So this is our first, our first uh, folder and main, our uh, uh, main uh, access point. So I'm gonna now start working on this file. So the first thing that we need to add to this file in order to kind of tell Python here, hey Python, we want to use Flask. Now we have installed Flask and we have a Python file, but but Python doesn't know that we want to use uh, Flask. So we need to tell Python, hey Python, we need to use Flask. How can we do that? Well, we need to import Flask. So I'm gonna say here from, from Flask, import flask with a capital F from flask again from flask import flask so now we have imported flask but we need to use it now we have imported flask so we have access to flask uh, a framework but we did not uh, use it yet we did not tell uh, Python to use flask and uh, start our uh, our web application so how can we do that how can we start our Flask web application, well, we need to create an object from that Flask, so I'm gonna create here an object, and this object takes a parameter called name, and then we need to store that in a variable, and um, you can name it whatever you want, I'm gonna, be name it, I'm gonna be naming it app, because it's conventional to name it app in Flask web applications. And now that we have the object, what we need to do is that we need to tell Python once you go to this file, once you execute this file, we want you to uh, check if this is a Flask application, then run our application. So we can use that, we can do that, we can accomplish that by using if statement. So you can here say if, and then if the name, if that name, here double underscores, and then name, and then double underscores, is equal to under, double underscores main and then double underscores if that is true then what we want to to do is that we want to run our application so we want here to say app dot run and this is gonna uh, run our application and uh, by the way this is just housekeeping stuff so it's it's um, you you don't have to worry a lot about this in every uh, flask application you need to add these kind of four lines of code because this is just um, the kind of the basic skeleton of a Py of a Flask application, and finally here this run can take a parameter called debug, which is going to display, which is going uh, to either uh, display or hide uh, debugging messages. So in case you want to go live and publish your application where uh, people the public will be able to use your application, then you need here to pass false. You need here to say false because you don't want, you don't want people to, um, if, there, if there is a, an error message or messages, you don't want the public to see these messages. But if in our case, we are, we are still in the uh, developing uh, stage, therefore I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pass here true because we want to get all of the messages because we want, if there is an error, we want to know what type of error and we want to work on fixing it. So let me now save and now we have our, our main um, file here, our basic skeleton.